show you how to create a fantastic Upwork profile. And if you are not a freelancer, you might just find that this is valuable information for your resume, your LinkedIn profile, whatnot. Any of this information could be useful to you. So uh, I'm new to Upwork and Upwork is the largest freelancing platform. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I realized, hmm, I'm wondering what would be the best way to get the best profile to optimize conversions, to, to get some sales here, to, to get clients. And I realized there's a lot of people online who are having these frustrations of finding clients. So I thought I'd put together this video showing you what a, a great profile would look like. And this could really help you out in your journey to freelancing. So um, what I'll do right now is, is, you know, start from the very beginning and, and just go through it all with you. I'm giving this all away for free to you because uh, I think this is just something that needs to exist so that more people who are getting into freelancing can, can you know, carve out their niche. I think that's the most important thing. And, and the niche, keep that in mind as we're going through this because you're going to need to know what your niche is as we build this out. So here's my profile. And um, just another side note, I have actually received several contracts from this profile that I've created. I've actually generated five contracts within my first week of optimizing my profile. So, you know, I want to share that success with you. Some of my contracts are over a thousand dollars. So, uh, Fantastic, fantastic results. I didn't actually expect it because um, I kind of struggled. And like, it actually was a couple of weeks before I was like, oh, okay, wait, let me just do something with my profile. So here we go. What I want to do is start with the profile photo. So this is an important photo and you want to actually put your best photo on there. Make sure it's not blurry. Make sure it looks professional. And, you know, if you're smiling and it looks like you're serious, um, you're ready for, you know, you know, somebody that I would want to talk to, you want to have that personality. Cause I think that's, what's going to set you apart. If there's a lot of people on here who don't have the personality, I don't think they're going to succeed as freelancers. So uh, having that positive attitude, you can show that in your photo. So I think that's important. Don't come off all depressed in your photo because that's not going to work very well for uh, converting your proposals to clients. So make sure you have a nice photo. Okay. Make sure it's your, your, your best, your best image of, of who you want to be. Uh, next piece is your hourly rate. So $59 an hour. That's what I've set mine at. And it might seem a little high. Well, you know what? I don't think it is actually, I think it's quite low, but I want to get to clients. I, that's all I care about right now. So that's what my focus is. And, um, you know, I've, I've kind of put it at that rate. What I see people doing when they get started is, is they have their rate really low and, you know, like $8 an hour, I actually tried that and for several weeks and I realized nobody was paying attention to me because like there's a group of people out there who will charge the, you know, the $8 an hour, but there's a, there's a level of top notch clients who are looking for you and they will pay additional for you. So don't undervalue yourself. Don't say, oh, I need to be at like $8 to compete. You're not competing with anyone but yourself here. Okay. So definitely put the rate in that you think is related to your value that you're bringing. I think that's critical to consider. So, you know, put it up to what you think you deserve. Okay. Not, not what the market is saying. Cause you know, you can convince them of the value in your overview proposal and the rest of your profile and your experience. And people will buy into that as, as I've proven with some of my contracts that have landed here. The next line here is really important is so for me, I've got marketing strategy to bring you more customers. So this is great because it shows the value that, um, that I'm offering right at the beginning. And 
you can put your description of like what you do. Like I'm a marketing specialist. You can put that in there, but the thing is, it's not going to really stand out. Okay. It's like everyone else. Everyone's a marketing specialist. What kind of a value are you bringing? Sales, marketing. Okay. You're getting some sort of results for somebody like what, maybe you put that in there and not talk so much about your title. It's, it's what kind of value are you bringing? So that's important. Uh, Location is pretty much a given. Now, these are categories that I specialize in, and you will see check marks. Check marks indicate that I have done tests. Upwork tests are fantastic. I recommend you do Upwork tests to improve your profile. And I don't actually uh, put any tests on here that are under the, you know, like that I'm not better than 20% at. So uh, what happens is your categories will find out your test scores and it will like put a check mark next to it. So it's like a certified category for you, which is great. So, you know, that's, that's important to put that front and center. Choose the nine categories that you're good at, okay? Make sure they're all aligned to what you do. Make sure it's focused. Don't be offering design when you're a copywriter or like being all over the place because the problem is that's not very niche so they talk about niche and people want to like get a specific type of service from you yes you can offer all those things but i wouldn't try to be everything to everyone because these clients are looking for specific um, projects to be done they're not looking for everything to be done so you want to tailor it to what you're doing specifically. That's important. I think a video is fantastic because again, it just adds credibility, the human touch. People wanna hear your voice before they sign up with you. And uh, you put a video on there, that's awesome. Now they don't have to video call you to find out who you are. They can go on your video and maybe provide helpful information. For, for me, I have like a video on like, you know, how to set up a website and whatnot on my profile. And it's fantastic because then people can just check me out ahead of time. And I think that's really helpful for them to figure out who I am and that I'm a real person and it shows a personality. So definitely create a video, that's important. Uh, next piece is overview. So do you want to get more sales from your marketing efforts? Are you doing everything right to be seen and heard online? You know, you're asking questions up front. So that's, you know, something to create thought provoking conversation with your, with your prospect. And, you know, my overview is pretty extensive. You know, I go into marketing campaigns, I go into what I'm bringing. And then, you know, I even have a testimonial here. Like I'm, I'm, showing that there are some results here that I'm pretty successful doing. So that's what you want to do. Figure out all the different accomplishments you have. And maybe you don't have any. Well, you know, start start with the very, very basics of what you know and then have that on there and try to communicate that. And, you know, have, have fun with it as well. Do a little PS at the end so that people know what they're getting into. So, you know, that's a fantastic way to really kind of boost up your your profile. You'll notice on work history, it shows I have two jobs, $80 earned. Just a disclaimer, I'm doing this video fresh, but the contracts are definitely, um, they're signed. So the work doesn't really happen until I, you know, complete it. But these are like one month contracts. I just wanted to get this video up and helping you right away. But uh, that number is obviously going to go up. Just in case you're wondering why, why I'm doing a video when there's only $80, I just thought I'd kind of describe why that is. I wanted to create this fresh. So now let's talk about work history and feedback. So, you know, these are the things that are really important. Five-star reviews. Like I think this is critical is to get five-star reviews so that you are, uh, you know, showing that you know what you do and, uh, that's again, important. Five-star reviews, probably the most important thing. If you don't get a five-star review, ask for it because that shows up on your profile right at the top. So uh, you'll want to have that list kind of set up. 
work history and feedback is, you know, something you want to kind of build out. And, uh, you know, you might not have any work history to start, in which case work on your portfolio, create some fictitious item if you have to, but get something on there. These are all legitimate projects that I've actually done. And I pulled them from my LinkedIn and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I have the visuals with them. I have images, I have descriptions with them. So everything is at the forefront. Anyone that wants to know who I am can go on here, find out what I'm all about. And that's really valuable information. So that's what you want to create for yourself is a beautiful portfolio that people can check. I'd say you need to have at least four because that shows up as a nice little grid here. And, you know, having four just kind of, yeah, rounds it out really nice. Certifications. So you can get different certifications depending on your expertise. Here's one that I did for HubSpot. And again, it shows that you are interested in this in this line of work. So put that on there. Now we're talking about the tests. You know, I've done quite a few different tests and whatnot. Some are, you know, fails and I don't want to put those on there, but you know, I have failed and I've learned from it and realized, yeah, that's probably not for me. WordPress, I thought was going to be like kind of marketing related, but it turned out to be like very technical coding and I'm not really a coder. So that's why I failed on that one. But I'm not obviously going to show that and you're going to fail on some too, perhaps, and you don't want to show that on your profile. So you can just hit no, and then it will disappear and not show up visibly. But, you know, having three or four tests that you did well on and showing those, I think that just is an indicator that you, you know, you know what you're doing. So put those on there. I, I got a rude awakening and found out, you know, some of it was a lot more challenging than I thought. And I'm like, you know, I'm going back to school here. And this is, this is new material for me. Uh, Cause you know, some of the marketing questions, I was like, Oh, that's interesting. But I'm really happy that I managed to do well on a couple here. And uh, that way I can have that on my profile. Again, it shows your level of expertise and then employment history, pull this from your LinkedIn resume, what, what have you just get this on here, make sure everything's filled out. Cause then, the client's going to click on these and find out the kind of work that you did. So again, putting that out there is great. If you've got an education, high school degree, what, what have you put that on there, you know, list all the different items you did, you know, other experiences, anything else you've done. So there you have it. There's the kind of the full picture. I think what I'll probably do is create a course down the road and really deep dive into the proposal process and, and, you know, messaging and, and proper etiquette and whatnot. And I think I'd really get into that as I'm seeing some success with this platform as I've just started here. Uh, but I really hope that this helps and this, this kind of shows you, okay, that's how you kind of word that. Oh, interesting. And, uh, what I'll do actually is I'm going to take the overview that you see here. I'm going to have that in the notes so that you can just copy paste the overview and maybe use it on yours. Um, ideally you want to kind of change up the words so it doesn't sound exactly like mine, but I want to share with you this, this content that, uh, that I have here so that you can benefit, especially if maybe English isn't your first language or whatnot, then you can just kind of, tweak the wording and whatnot. And hopefully that'll help you and help you get some clients. But I've definitely seen some success with Upwork and I know it's a struggle to start, but if you keep at it, you will see clients coming up. I was on it for a month and didn't see any results. So I decided, well, maybe it's because I'm not doing anything on it or I'm not optimizing my profile. Once I optimize the profile, then I finally saw people reaching out to me. So really excited about the upcoming projects I'm doing. I just couldn't wait to create this video for you and show you what it took to finally get my clients. So uh, thank you for checking this video out. Subscribe, share, get other people checking this out. And yes, thanks again. Take care.